Hi, my name is Jeff Paulson, and uh, I'm going to go over your new mask that you've now received and how to use it, all the features about how to clean it. Uh, you're going to get a mask. It's going to come in a box. There's three to, three to a box. It's going to be in this individual mesh bag. You're going to go ahead and pull the mask out. And in, inside the mesh bag, you're actually going to have a, a, a snorkel also. You're not going to be using that, so you just set that aside and put that back into the bag. The mask itself is going to have a film on top of the lens. It's just a scratch resistance film. Simply just pick it away, pull it off, and discard. With your mask, you're going to have a black O-ring. You're just going to want to take a, a, a simple pick or something, squeeze down on it, and then just go ahead and pull the O-ring off. You're not going to need that. The adapter that you're going to be using with the new mask is... Uh, um, usable without that o-ring. <clears throat> so with the mask you're going to have an adapter. That adapter is what you're going to hook the filters to. They're, they're a bayonet connection and the bayonet connection allows you to use a 3M product. Uh, right now they're very hard to get, they're unavailable. Um, this is a P100 filter and it has a bayonet connection and when you put the filter onto the adapter, just twist it, close it, and it's on, it's secure. What we've came up with is a cartridge that has a retaining clip and then it has a filter media, it's polyester on one side, that's a water vapor media, uh, filter, and then on the inside there's a two-ply N95 filter that's going to um, deter any bacterial viral uh, infectious uh, spores. So I'll go through the filter in just a second. The, the adapter is made out of a medical grade nylon. It's very strong. Uh, it can be cleaned just like the mask. And in fact, when it comes to cleaning, it's very easy to do. We have a solution of one part Clorox bleach and then water. And then you simply just take the mask and you submerge it and you leave it for about two hours. You can do that with the parts. And then you would pull it out, clean it off, <clears throat> hang dry, whatever you need to do, and preferably you'd be doing this in a clean room area when you're assembling and cleaning and everything with that. Uh, and that'll be just protocol for the uh, clinics, hospitals, wherever you're using this. And wearing gloves just so that we can, you know, go through the process as wearing gloves. I would typically be wearing a mask, uh, working on any of uh, these things, but I want to be able to communicate well. So, when you got the mask, you're ready to use it. <clears throat> it's very easy to do. You're going to take the adapter. You're going to put it onto the mask. There's little flanges and nubs that connect it. Simply just click it in, and that's it. It's that easy. If you want to take it off, it's just as simple. You wiggle it, and it comes off. So we snap that on. Then we're going to take the filter cartridges, right? And we're going to place those onto the mask. And it's ready to use. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and get the mask fitted. So two different sizes of masks. There's a small, medium, large, extra large. To, to fit your mask, you're simply going to put the mask on without the adapter. Place it on. Pull the strap snug. And then place your hand over the top of the opening. Breathe in. And when it creates a suction, it's sealed. It's good to go. <clears throat> Find the, the size that fits for your needs, and uh, you're then able to use the mask safely with the adapter and filters back on. You're ready to go. Now let's talk about changing the filters out. It's real easy to do. You're going to have sheets of material. The material looks like this. It's four ply, as I mentioned before. Polyester on one side, the N95 on the inside, polyester on the other side. You can clean this also too. You can dip um, a cloth and go ahead and clean both sides of the polyester, wiping down any contaminants and be able to increase the use of the filter. The filter will last a, a long time. Uh, typically the change is when they start to get a little clogged and they
they get harder to breathe. If it's harder to breathe, it's time to change that filter media. And then also, if you get into a heavy uh, contaminated area, you may want to change that at that point. Again, that'll be protocol for the clinics and the hospitals. You simply just take a pair of scissors to cut out the material, and you're simply just going to cut the material into the square. You'll have a template also, so you know the dimensions. And then you're going to replace the old filter inside of the cartridge. And now there is the cartridge itself, and then there is a retaining clip. The retaining clip has these two bowed little lines in here. You're going to take and you're going to pinch. And by pinching it, it releases the pressure on the clip, comes out, the old material gets discarded or cleaned or whatever you would want to do with it at that time. And then you take the new material and you place it in. And as long as the edges are all even, it's good to go. Press it down, take the retaining clip, press it on one side, come to the other side, squeeze down, and it's good and ready to go. So now we've done both, and then we can replace the retaining filter. So now we're ready to use the mask, and uh, the mask is complete. Let me just one more time place on the, the cartridges. So you can see the mask ready for use, and then I'm ready to don it and, and go to work. Again, thank you for selecting the new mask. Um, I hope that this uh, is a um, very useful tool in your fight against the coronavirus. Good luck.